China is not very good at transparency. For example, in May, the unemployment rate for the youth, which is under 30 years old, you could say, was at 21.3%. Then they decided not to disclose these figures anymore. The same happened over the COVID situation. We really can't believe that the small figures related to COVID in a country of 1.4 billion people at the time. So it came to my idea, what are they hiding about drug use? 1.4 billion people, it's not zero, it's got to be some, like unfortunately, like in America. So I went into a little bit of a deep dive to see what the numbers actually are over the last 10 years or so. And I came up with this. As of 2013, there were 2,475 registered drug addicts in China with a population of one, sorry, with 1.326 addicted to heroin, accounting to 53% of the addicted population. So the catch is China does indeed have a drug problem, according to the experts. We can update this to 2017. A report from China's National Narcotics Control Commission said there were 2.51 million drug users as late 2016, a year increase of 7%. We can continue in the same year, near enough, the actual number of drug users in China beyond 2.5 million who are officially registered is much higher. So again, transparency. They're giving you the official thing, but how much is the real? Seven, eight. Now, compared to the per capita and compared to the percentage of people in China, it's small. And the reason why it's possibly small is if you get caught using drugs, you can have life imprisonment, which is scary enough. They don't have many drug rehabilitation. I couldn't see any or anything. It's something which is quite often happened in China. We sweep it under the carpet and blame everything in America. Delving deeper into this, China's strong arm approach to drug addiction does not work. Once you are taking drugs, then you are addicted and all you want is more and more and more. It takes over your life. We know the whole situation. We've seen some street in Philadelphia, I can't remember the name of the street, where everyone seems to be acting like zombies. Whether this is real, the videos you've seen on Twitter and YouTube or fake, not too sure, but it doesn't work, their situation. Again, it's just like not advertised and it doesn't go down. No YouTuber in China or content creator on YouTube will actually go down this path because, well, automatically they will be kicked out. Instead, they prefer to do the drugs in the rest of the world, but not in China. Now, we can compare this to America from a website called Drug Abuse Statistics. 138 million, that's over 50% of the population aged over 12, have tried using drugs in the United States. We can go on here. They say 8.3 million have a drug problem now in America. Now, America has a population of, what, 320 million? So per capita, it, yes, granted, it's a lot higher. But at the same time, there is more freedom. And there's something that you have in America, which you don't really have at all in China, is democracy. In other words, you choose. And one more fact about the drug use in China, almost 21 million Americans have at least one addiction, yet only 10% of them receive a treatment, about 25% of the people who use illicit drugs. So, does it have a problem? Yeah. If it didn't have a problem, then it would be zero. But name a country in the world that has zero drug use, even in places like Saudi, um, or I don't know, some very strict Muslim countries would have some kind of people who do use drugs one way or another. So China does, but again, is one of these things which is not really talked about. You won't see much about it on 
um, YouTube. If you go to China, you possibly won't see like in Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia. That's the name of the road I was thinking of. It wouldn't be so open. It would be done in shacks. It would be done in homes. It would be done very privately um, because if it's out in the open, well, then the police are possibly going to move them on, put them in prison or send them back to their hometown and say, it's your problem. Get over it. Yeah, this is the uh, some of the horrible things in China. So when you do see these YouTubers say, is Shanghai safe at night? The majority of it, the same you could say like New York City. Yeah, but there are some dodgy places exactly the same with drug use. Does it happen in China? Yes, it does, but it's just not well known and it's swept under the carpet where no one can see it. And if it's not there, if it can't be seen, then it gets forgotten. So your comments, what do you think of this? I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, but actually researching and trying to get the data was actually pretty hard and comparing it to the United States or England or France or um, Australia, for example, uh, yes, there is a high percentage of people of who do take these illicit drugs, etc. In China, it does exist, but it is a lot smaller. But China does have a problem of exporting the components for things like fentanyl, for example. And they would always claim that, oh, this is for the official medical use, which is used in some kind of um, drugs in America when you go to the doctor or when you go to hospital. But they will always deny everything that the components on fentanyl is shipped over to Mexico, the cartel sort of make it all up and then ship it over to the United States of America because it's a lot cheaper. Your thoughts, your points of views, am I right, am I wrong? Do you agree, do you disagree? Thank you so much for your time. Have a awesome day. And as Nancy Reagan said, don't do it. Say no to drugs. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.